Hello guys, what's up? It's it's uh it's me, I guess. And um before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have supported the channel so far. And uh yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the video. So for this first clip, I was checking the whitetail zone at the middle lake of Reventuli Coast, and I just so happened to spot this level 9 resting on the shore. And uh here's what happened. And when I picked him up, he actually turned out to be a pretty big diamond, and uh, he was actually pretty good looking, if I do say so myself. This next clip actually took place a day after the previous clip, and um... He ended up being a level 9 too, and I'm jumping up and down because uh, I couldn't get a spot on him. But anyway, here's the shot. And when I picked up this bear, he actually turned out to be a little bit smaller of a diamond than the other one. But, uh,. I don't really care, he's a diamond either way and he's going in my trophy lodge. This next clip is the reason that you guys all clicked on the video and uh, yes, it is the Whitetail Great One. I think it's the middle rack but I'm not entirely sure so correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, sorry I didn't get my actual reaction because uh, I wasn't recording until after I saw the Great One. And, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of this clip.
and there he goes I just got my first white tail great one and it was with the bow too which I was pretty scared about because there's a glitch with the bows but it ended up working out for me right here and uh, here he is And if you want to see them in the lodge, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. This next clip is actually a clip of the second pie ball I'd gotten on the grind and the fourth rare I'd gotten in total and uh, here he is. Coming up onto him I was a little disappointed that I knew he wouldn't make gold since his estimate was too low. But I was excited that he was a pie ball then. A pie ball's better than nothing, so. This next white tail right here made diamond at level 2, and he was actually the second diamond I got on the grind. This was during the stacking phase of herd management when I was stacking only level 3s. I knew he had a possibility of making it, but just to be sure, I didn't want to stack a gold on my map, and, uh,. Here he is. During this clip, I started shooting all the stacked level threes I had on my map from herd management and this was actually the first diamond I stacked, so I started with him, and this is what happened. After looking at him from the front, I was pretty sure that he would make diamond, but you can never be too sure with the small rack diamonds whether they're going to make it or not. I shot this deer with the Mosin because I wanted to shoot every deer with a different weapon to make it a little more interesting, but uh, it was actually a guaranteed diamond level 2, and here he is. I decided that for this guy I wanted to take a longer range shot and for that I used the 7mm Empress. I was pretty sure that this guy was going to make diamond because he has a version of the medium rack whitetail which always makes it, that is if you make a good shot. For this guy, I wanted to use the 303, which is one of the most powerful 4 to 8 weapons in the game. This rack is probably my favorite out of the middle racks, and I like to call it the box rack since, you know, it's kind of shaped like a box.
For this deer I used the 270 Warden, which I think is the best looking gun in the game. And there he is, another small rack down the whitetail. For this guy, I used one of the most unique guns in the games, which is the 4570 lever action rifle. I decided to use the M1 Grand on this whitetail, which is probably my most favorite gun in the game. I couldn't get a shot at the other whitetail, but you'll see them in the next clip. Another mid-rack diamond whitetail. On the deer that got away from earlier, I decided to use the 30-06 Eckers rifle, which is my second favorite gun in the game. To keep the video from getting more repetitive than it already is, I decided to only show the biggest whitetail that I got from the grind. And on this guy, I wanted to use the muzzle loader, but what I didn't know is that I had the gun zeroed for 218 yards, which is way further than he actually was. I stared at my screen in disbelief because at the time that was the biggest whitetail I had ever shot. I had lost the diamond rating on the biggest whitetail and it was due to a stupid mistake. Since I messed up the last year with the muzzle loader, I decided to go for round two with this one. And you best believe your ass I am making the same mistake again. Even though he wasn't my biggest whitetail, I was happy to get a 270 plus because that's still a pretty big deer. The only reason I recorded this whitetail was because it was uneven, but it turned out to be even better than I thought it was.
I had no idea that that deer would score that high, especially because of the low estimate. This next deer is the only melanistic that I got on the grind. And he even scored gold. This next white tail is the last of 38 diamonds that I got during my grind, and he even ended up being the biggest. He ended up scoring 273, which is now by far my biggest white tail. This is the last trophy that I got off my great one grind, other than the great one of course, and it ended up being my fourth pie ball deer. And that concludes my Whitetail Great One grind. 1,869 kills, 38 diamonds, 8 trolls, and 6 rares. And of course, the one great one. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video, and enjoy the trophy lodge.